It's just so intense just knowing people are out there. It's just like, oh shit. And then once I go out, it's fine, it's over. But those few hours before the show, I start getting more and more nervous until we have to go. We met in math class in sixth grade. He sat next to me and um, we started talking about like starting this punk band called, it was something so bad it was like, you know, a view from beyond or like winged angel. Maybe like in eighth grade, we like started playing in some bands, like silly bands together. But then in freshman year of high school, we just like decided record an album. We didn't really know each other. I just like went over to his house and we just like started recording stuff and that's like how we got to know each other was like through recording. We would just like sit around and make albums all the time. It was our way of like being distracted. You know a lot of kids did sports or like got into drugs or something like that and me and Sam would just record constantly. Last year it was like so stressful touring just because morale just got really down because we didn't sound that good live. We couldn't execute the shows, like we couldn't play the shows that we wanted to play. We couldn't sound the way that we wanted to sound and so morale was just kind of crappy. And now that we can play shows and sound great, you know, to us and actually enjoy touring and being around each other, it's great. I like performing a lot. That's just really fun. We've kind of like figured our live show out a little more nowadays and feel really confident performing. Now I think we've got a hold of what we're doing. The new record's more mature, but the live show's really absurd. Theater, there's a lot of improvised stuff. I think everyone really appreciates being in this situation we're in now, being able to do what we do. I don't think people take it for granted anymore, which is nice. So maybe, maybe man, there's an island in the dark.